Um, so last time we saw uh, this character, it was painful and miserable, and I had no spells as a spellcaster to deal with honorable fire. We still have that issue. Um, MCC doesn't work. Maybe it works versus Sorps of Fire specifically. Does it work versus anything else? I mean, I guess that um, there's not really a lot to train for. Let's just do it. Um, hopefully it works. Oh yeah, it sure is fun to to take a ton of damage uh, just from going downstairs and upstairs. Jikes. Okay, so what does this character do to kill things? Or strike, I suppose. Hmm. Man. I should just quit this character in reality. Yep, I should just quit this character, all right. You know what I really don't like uh, about monsters? That they always get to, um, to do electricity attacks. That's uh, mind-blowing. They, they always get the electricity and players only very rarely get it. Monsters as a whole are just like way more powerful than the character and the player character, but also way squishier. Player character is a lot more robust. Um, that's why uh, pan lords with good armor class and good evasion can feel so rough. Same goes for player ghosts, because they are on the same dimension as the player character. Um, okay, I guess that I'm probably gonna die to this thing. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, we killed those guys, but like, was <laughs> it was difficult. <sighs> Everything is so difficult for this character. I have 38 spell slots. I might as well just learn MCC, right? Eventually I'm gonna be able to cast it. Back into the grinder we go. Immediately 31. You know, taking 31 damage from a monster is completely normal. What is not normal is seeing uh, the message that lets you know that you took a ton of damage from taking 31. And then 38. Um, monster breath weapons are a complete um, lie, by the way. Like, monsters don't really get cooldown on their breath weapons the way the players do. You got Gargoyle Berserker home. Five runes with these. After only a three month dry spell. That's nice. Five runes with this. What compelled you to do specifically this? Was that really the the bolt or the rune branch that you wanted to do from extended? Oh you have resistance to electricity or something silly, right? No, you don't. For some reason, I always think that Shadow Dragons have resistance to electricity, but I'm glad to see that they don't. Uh, anyway, this seems a lot calmer than it used to be yesterday. I might actually be able to complete this and hopefully loot some spells, uh, because that's the whole reason why, uh, that uh, we came here for, to find some books with Orb of Destruction or something along those lines. I found a book, but it's completely worthless. Not the first time that happens, this run. Hmm. 
minus cast uh, plus zero scale mail. The game sure has a sense of humor. Obviously, I don't like having to use Apoc versus a single monster, but if the Shadow Dragon is just gonna appear and start spamming its breath weapon, I don't have the HP to handle that. Other characters would, but not this one. We found Chain Lightning. We found Chain Lightning. That uh, might have just saved the run. Uh, we also got Shattered on Firestorm, but I'm not going for, for Shatter. Um, no Polar Vortex. Polar Vortex is the one that I'm closest to casting. Um, but yeah, Chain Lightning will have to be the thing. Uh, my main issue is that I have um, like no experience left in the game for Chain Lightning. But I guess that we just turn these on, go do SOT and hope for the best. Uh, we could also do Crypt, but I don't have resistance to negative. Almost always there are some resistance to negative artifacts that like have two or three pips uh, that generate in my games, but not this time, unfortunately. Well, oh, I have a treasure trove that once. No, it was not in this game. I had a game recently that wanted the Horn of Herion. Didn't get to that point, um, but yeah, we're done. You have an informal one extended room policy. That's what you do in all of your games. That's wild. I wouldn't do that myself. I generally only go for three runes, sometimes four, but almost always three. Okay. I would like to not be uh, deep red drained. It would certainly be nice. Uh, just as I would like to not get one shot by Jody, but not everything can be granted in this life, I suppose. Maybe we can get out of here. Okay, that at least I was able to accomplish. Every species and every god, and now you play random combos until they reach lair. And if they reach lair, that's what you call it, quits. Or do you just keep going until you win the game? Hmm. I really look forward to being able to cast Chain Lightning. Is it going to be possible for me to cast Chain Lightning in Quicksilver Scales? It better be. Yeah, it better be. It's a bit too many uh, Draconians for my current level of HP, but there's really nothing that I can do. Um, man, this is painful. I wish I had a bit more than 127 HP. That's a lot of Draconians. Went for Apoch, didn't kill nearly as many as I would have liked to. But it ended up getting the job done, alright. Okay, you know, I think that a melee character would have had a harsher time dealing with that. Oh, and the turn I move and immediately afterwards I hit a mark drop. Yeah, that uh, that is pretty mean. The game is really not pulling its punches. And let me tell you that I am not at the power level where I can have the game uh, do that for an extended period of time. The Storm Dragon is called Resistant, right? Yeah, for some reason it is. Um, let's just go out. You learned that about breath weapons the hard way today. A promising ogre made his hand when burping. Bumping into a War Gargoyle in Lower Dungeon. Yeah, our War Gargoyles are... Uh, certified uh, ogre killers because they deal a crazy amount of damage if you don't have good armor class um, and ogres do not get that. I'm gonna epoch again because I just took a ton of damage. Oh 
Also because much to my dismay, that's really the only way for me to to kill uh, monsters when I'm fighting more than one at a time. I am so looking forward to to chain lightning. It's still at a hundred percent chance to miscast. MCC is, uh, however, going down at 69. I'm thinking that maybe I just train their magic so I can get MCC and then I try to get chain lightning, and we see we see how that goes. Uh, maybe maybe I get to MCC and I don't get to chain lightning and that is enough to win the game. Um, once again, I find myself wishing that I had paralysis instead of. Um, Charming, which is completely worthless because I sacrificed allies as a rule worshipper. I uh, have to say that I'm gonna be very happy to not play this character again once it finishes, no matter how it finishes. Yeah. Definitely what I would define as a non decidable character. Okay, my air strikes are dealing some damage, all right. Uh, the game says that it's at 48%. Yeah, some pretty decent air strikes. Oh, electric golem. I don't have the resistance. Okay, it's next to me. Can it one shot me from this amount of HP? I'm going to go with no. Okay, I kill it. I I think that it could have. I think that it had a very good chance of actually doing so. And I got really lucky that it didn't. You got Kitty Home as your fifth win. You still dread the RNG giving you Cat again. Oh man, yeah, Cat is uh, the most unpleasant experience that Crawl Depths have ever added to the game. I have no idea how it has remained in the game for so many years, but um, it is still there. Hmm. I should have killed that Red Draconian, it was almost dead. You dread uh, it because it will be hard, not because it won't be fun. I don't particularly think that uh, Cat is fun, and part of what makes it difficult also makes it unfun, in my opinion. Um, when you play Cat, you forsake interacting with a large amount of loot in the game. Um, this not only um, makes it so that your character is significantly weaker, you also end up with like a more boring character. Um, so yeah, not only do I not like Cat because it's uh, difficult, also because of that aspect. You find a cool weapon, you decided to start a cat. You find cool armor, you decided to start a cat. You find some throwables, you find silver jabs, cat. Um, and so on and so on. All that you really get are spells and uh, the wonderful ability of getting one shot by almost everything in the game. Which, yeah. It's a lot of downsides to get a species that also has a lot of downsides. Um, I, I really don't like it. <laughs> Okay, one of these days I'm gonna go back to full HP and it's gonna be great. Um, but I think it's more likely for this Storm Dragon to kill me. Oh, I missed with my Curare. Curare works okay with the Storm Dragons, and I would have loved to be able to kill that guy, but um, it has support and I have really low HP. Every fight here is miserable. I have cat HP. I don't know if you have noticed, but with how drained I am, I have cat HP. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Storm Dragon! Uh, goodbye to half of my HP, I suppose. Power leap away. Yeah, you go that way, I'll go this way. 
We don't have to fight each other. Or I guess not, okay. Oh, it's fast, right? Because it's a Storm Dragon. Okay, let's try to cure out it. Okay, we succeed. There we go. We get skills, but we cannot really use those. All you get are spells as if you needed anything else. I mean, yes, but um, this character... Well, I guess this character is not a good example. Uh, this character doesn't have spells. Oh man, this character is uh, suffering. That is the only way to put it. This character is suffering. This character also is getting pretty close to MCC. I can already kind of taste it. Um, how much power does it have? 50. Do you think that I can MCC a Storm Dragon? I, I bet that it kills me before I can MCC it. Maybe I can kill these guys. Um, why am I slow? Oh, because of the Zerg. Huh. Okay, I guess that I cannot go upstairs. Let's try to MCC. Oh, I cannot MCC. It says 43%. Can I go upstairs? Okay, I can. It was very difficult to go upstairs here. Because of the tentacle monstrosity and the slow. Uh, it's not dealing good damage. I think that I could kill it with MCC if I... Um, if I manage to do it. Okay, let's try. For funsies. Okay, got a miscast. Let's do it again. Ah, that's fun. Electric haze. A cloud of sparks. Trail of elect electric sparks. That's most atmospheric but harmless. Cool. Mm. Oh, it, nothing happened to this guy after I used MCC. Am I dead? I might be dead. How am I going to kill this thing? Airstrike is usually the way to go at it, but like I, I think that I'm just gonna die. Let's just blink away from it. Okay, I succeed. And we get an airstrike that kills, but yeah, staying next to Berserk Tentacle Monstrosity is too risky. We don't want to do that. Oh man, this is really awful. I, I hate this character. That is what always happens to me when I play... Um, when I play these kinds of characters, when I play Tengu specifically, it always is completely miserable. I got uh, Polar Vortex. How far away am I from MCC? And let's come... Well, MCC is gonna get castable. Um, Polar Vortex is not at 100, it's at 97. So I'm actually closer to Polar Vortex than I am uh, to Chain Lightning. I'm probably not gonna be able to get that. Thanks for mentioning Curare. Curare is so important. It's such a good uh, thing to have. It works very well at all points in the game, but it is uh, at its peak um, either very early or very late. For example, I should probably cancel this because otherwise I think that I might be dead. And I don't have cancellation. But I do have a Wanda Quicksilver, so I guess we use this. Okay, now we read totally. How do, you, how do I have 131 of 173? Is this Drain? It is Drain. Yes, Drain lowers your max HP. Um, and you recover it by killing things. I, I am uh, constantly using Apoch, which drains me. And I also have uh, gotten hit by one too many Shadow Dragons. Maybe I could win if I used that book, but I'm um, not gonna do it. I feel like I'm gonna spontaneously explode. 
be oh I am in I'm why am I teleporting in SOT? So teleports in SOT last like take forever. This is not gonna fire. I'm almost sure that this is not gonna fire. I think that I might as well just apoc. Yeah. Oh wow. It ended up firing, but uh well you see the result. <sighs> All of these things I would have a hard time killing one versus one. Um, I, I, I think it's almost impossible for me to fight them all together at the same time. Oh, it missed. Why does the first one always miss, and the second one apparently? The third one uh, does hit, but it was when the guy was uh, paralyzed, of course it was gonna hit. Oh yeah, my teleport already triggered. I wonder if I should try again to, to teleport. Probably unsafe, um, considering how little of the level have I seen. I don't like this character because of all of these encounters. Every encounter is incredibly difficult. Oh man, I did get to Polar Vortex and I got to Chain Lightning, but it just didn't happen early enough. If Imagine if I had gotten to it before doing Bolt 5. Like Imagine if I had the Bolt 5 experience to dump straight towards Chain Lightning or Polar Vortex. This would be such a such a different character, like it would be significantly more powerful. Regarding Kirara, you think uh, a giant part of the game is knowing when to use a given thing? Yes, yes, when when to use a given thing. You fall back on the spells you know because you know what they do, so inside there is always interesting. More monsters keep coming. I wonder how bad of an idea would it be to try to berserk these guys. I think that I can probably kill them if I berserk. As long as these are the final guys. Yeah, if there's like even one more, I might be super death. All right. Oof, angry Tengu. <laughs> oh man. How far away are we from MCC? It's at twenty-six percent. Um, we're also gonna need this at twenty-four. And maybe this at 24, but like that's unlikely. Should have probably not sacrificed a hand. Not gonna lie, but uh, there was not much to do um, about it. Like uh, if I had not gotten the, the hand sacrifice, I probably would have died. Because no apoc. I have needed apoc from the very moment that I got it, pretty much. Um, okay, we finally poisoned the storm dragon. Um, I guess that I can do force lands plus air strike to kill things, but as you can see, it's uh, completely awful and a pretty bad idea. Um, and I also want to wield that. Um, that staff, because that staff gives me cold resistance, which I don't have otherwise. 
Oh, um, well, this is fine because I'm a Tengu. Yeah, I decided to equip uh, resistance to electricity in favor of um, mana region. I would definitely love to have mana region, but we cannot say no to the resistance to electricity. I have been gambling too much with my life um, when it comes to not having that resistance here. Um, I think that I'm going to try MCC again. It's at 22% now. And it's gone. Okay, that's funny. It really is enjoyable to, to delete things with MCC. Not as uh, crazy as it was to do the same thing with um, with Absolute Zero. Still pretty okay, regardless. How much damage am I dealing with this? 28 damage rating. Not very high. But I also have 9 strength, so that's why. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna... MCC you. Yep, MCC. Maybe we just MCC and that's how we win the game. Yeah. It, they, it took me a while to decide to start using MCC because I got it. And I had it uh, so early, but I just didn't use it. I wanted Chain Lightning. But I think that... Um, if I take the fights um, as carefully as possible, some of these encounters that I've had to use consumables on uh, could be uh, fights that I could win without having to use uh, anything other than MCC. The Draconian Knight is immune. Okay. Um, roots on this guy. It doesn't do anything, of course. Mm. Good old Wonder Roots things. Ha, huh, the Death Cup struggles to escape constriction times three. I guess that's why it doesn't really do a lot uh, versus certain monsters, because they're just too fast. Okay. Now, we're gonna go around the corner, wait a turn or two, and then cast MCC, and then it's death, okay, let's do the same thing. It's not going bad, I am a bit surprised by how uh, well this is going. Oh man, I'm not hitting this guy, this guy with Kirare, okay, finally. Hmm. That's not great. Are you fast? You're not fast, so that means that I can run away from you. If we ignore that, it has uh, strong ranged attacks. Okay, here's a dragon's greatest enemy, a door. And now we're back to full resources. MCC. Can you dispel MCC? I miscast it. Okay. It gave, I gave it a good amount of turns. It didn't dispel it. I think trample damage can also knock you away from MCC. Ah, your charge disappears without a target. Dissipates without a target. Miscasting it like crazy. But that's uh, something that will be fixed um, on its own in a bit. I am indeed training uh, for it after all. I should have done it a long time ago. Oh, it doesn't dispel MCC uh, if you get hit with, uh, with Quicksilver. That's nice. It certainly kills things 
pretty fast, all things considered. I got storms, I got gold scales. So I vaporized the golden dragon in an electric scale in an electric case, but the gold dragon scales are intact enough to wear. I think that's pretty funny. Funny crawl messages. Let me take a screenshot of that. I'm glad that I, like, one of the very first things that I did upon starting the stream today was getting MCC. I should have done that so long ago. I, I really should have. Um, I jumped in, in the fridge um, bandwagon when I got it because it was the first good spell that hit the entirety of the screen that I got in the entirety of the game. And uh, if I had not done that, I probably would have died. It, that is, uh, has been such a fundamental part of this character. Cursed though. Okay, for those, we uh, MCC them. Okay, it killed the Moth of Wrath. It also made a ton of noise. I don't want to get tormented like crazy, so let's just go elsewhere. Yeah, the thing about tormenting a cur or like uh, MCCing a curse though is it's gonna be difficult because of all the shrooms. It's a very delicate uh, fight. I don't wanna. Um, I don't wanna take it. I think yeah, because of that. What happened? Drain the Kirstos magic. Yeah, that doesn't really do that much. It is okay for sure, but could be so much more. Running low on mana. Let's just go upstairs with this guy. Yeah, now that I am no longer using... Um, Mana regen, my mana goes down so quickly. Oh, I killed the yellow draconian. That was kind of um, unlucky. It hits uh, the closest enemy to you at random. So if you have two enemies that are at the same distance, it will hit one of those, but you don't know which one it's gonna hit. Um, it's a very positional magic spell. Oh, I miscast it. How, uh, it's 11%, 55 uh, spell power, no wonder it's charging so quickly. Oh, you know what? This uh, slightly disrupted magic thing is probably making it a lot more difficult to cast Maxwell's um, MCC, but it also is making it much faster to charge, which is a pretty good thing. I decided to gamble and I didn't get lucky this time. Hold on. Draw out power can be used to remove uh, confusion. Oh no. The turn I start casting it. I think that I might want to just read blinking into the stairs. This thing is very annoying to kill. Do you think that I can kill it with 3 form? 3 form berserk maybe? The the issue is that I my weapon is force lance. So if I wield that and I start poking it and it gets pushed away enough that uh, is just a recipe for disaster. Um I'm just going to walk to the stairs. Okay. Hmm. 
Please don't do your thing again. Okay, that was difficult. It is a matter of uh, getting lucky killing Kirstos uh, for this character. Oh no, come on. Oh, I got a miscast. Those miscasts have been getting me um, pretty hard. I'm gonna wait a turn and then cast MCC, and then I get a miscast, and then we cast it for real. And then it's death. Oh man. Oof. We're almost done. Run out of mana. I think that I'm gonna MCC that guy. There we go. It makes incredible amounts of noise, which is obviously not very good. Hmm. Okay, we kill a killer clown. You hear a shout times five. Uh, this time there seems to be no alarm traps in SOT. I should probably read magic mapping. Only have one, but uh, that's exactly the right amount of um, of magic mapping that I need. Uh, that guy just walked away. I, I That's weird. I think that Rook confused it. Okay, 8% chance to miscast MCC. Do you think it might be a good idea to try to get rid of Wild Magic with this character? Um, MCC does channel more quickly if I have uh, Wild Magic, but uh, I'm getting so many miscasts. Oh, I killed the Killer Clown, very lucky. Level 26. This time I didn't sacrifice any levels, so I'm gonna try to get to 27. It might actually happen. Do I think this is the kind of character to take one epic uh, fight at the end, where I just uh, fight everything versus one? Um, absolutely not. Yeah, definitely not. If I had um, Chain Lightning, Maybe, um, so that I could spam it and just kill everything, but like this is not that kind of character. It could have been, uh, but it just didn't happen. Um, oh man. I think maybe auto-exploring is a bit risky. I'm like that I have been getting a lot of killer clowns. Um, no leeches, no orbs of fire. Um, that is helpful. We also, not a lot of draconian bands. Killer clowns are probably the best thing that I could have seen. And I did mention that yesterday, killer clowns are the easiest uh, high-level monster for me to kill here. Okay, the lich is hasted. So it's gonna get to me before the Orb Guardian. Very careful uh, walking around and precision MCCing of monsters. Why did I not think that MCC was a good idea? Like, obviously it wouldn't have done a lot in situations like Bolt 5, uh, or to be completely fair, many of the situations that I've encountered throughout the game. So, like, it, it was not good for those, but the thing is that it, it has been pretty good here. It has been pretty good in SOT 5 as long as I fight um, 1 versus 1 carefully, like, I, it, it works wonderfully. Please don't turn me into a bat or something. That's fine. Okay. 
yeah. This has been going surprisingly well. I did need to to call it a day yesterday. Um, I did need to do that. If I hadn't done it, I probably would be that. Okay. This with uh, chain light with chain lightning, I would kill everyone. I don't have chain lightning, however, so I won't kill everyone. I will probably blink to the orb, pick it up, and then blink into a teleport trap, or maybe just run to a teleport trap. It was going okay, but the game says, nope, this is going too well. It cannot just go this well. Let's see what we get. Incredible teleport trap. That was almost flawless. Um, yeah, we took uh, 47 and 25 damage. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect. That's got to be one of the best ways to, to win this character. You're leaving the Feras Cactus Giant Dream at the moment. Are you also a Vine Stalker? Because that's the uh, best way to make the dream come through. Um, let's MCC this guy. Okay, it took forever. It actually took like six turns. Demon spawn. There should be plant demons in Crawl. Now that I think about it, there's not a lot of plant demons. Um, if you think about it... Um, something like the Gnome from Reef Wizard could be a nice plant demon that attacks you with a not highly damaging attack that always summons things and it doesn't have a summon cap that would be a very uh, evil plant demon plant is its own holiness i think it is yeah maybe a plant based demon that is not particularly a plant but is uh, capable of doing plant related things Wow, let's see, Timito begins to attack but is stunned by your conviction twice in a row. We take those. Not complaining. You know, if I had been able to gather all the experience from SOT, um, from SOT 5 that is, and I had gotten to like Polar Vortex or Chain Lightning, I would have liked to do a cigarette with this character, but um, one of the wisest things that I could have done was to pick up MCC, and right after that was to uh, turn off Conjurations, because if I had continued training Conjurations alongside our magic, I would have not gotten either of MCC nor, um, nor Chain Lightning. So turning it off when I did was the absolute correct choice. <sighs> We're almost done. Come on. So unfortunate for these demons to to appear to be fighting demons. If they were not fighting demons, uh, this would be significantly less rough for me. Okay, Ice Fiend was kinda scary. This guy is a lot of Ciproca, I'm just gonna MCC it. Don't wanna get anti magic mm. I think that I also MCC this guy. Because with the amount of mana that I have, um, I don't know if I kill it with a strike. I don't have enough mana for another MCC. Oh, 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 random Panlord. What do you have? Binders, Polymorph, Summon, Demon, and Abjuration. It's not scary. The Lich is uh, more scary, if anything. Okay, are they gonna tap dance in that sub trap? They really are trying to. Okay. 
It sounds someone demon made it so that um, it was unable to catch up to me. That's nice. I have the ink, might as well use it. I thought about MCCing the Hell Sentinel for a couple of seconds there. I decided against it. I don't need that kind of hard emotion in my life right now. Yeah. As it is, I feel like uh, this character might give me a heart attack any second now. So, might as well avoid that. But I do have to say that once I got MCC online, things got uh, smoother. Uh, everything started going much better once I got MCC. Uh, Ice Fiend and a Pan Lord. And the Pan Lord has Corrosive Bolt and Torment. We are not doing that. No, you know, Scrolls of Blinking were invented precisely for that kind of situation. And we're done. Oh, I'm glad that I called it quits yesterday when I did, because if I had not done it, man, I've only been playing for 49 minutes. Well, I started the stream at 49 minutes. It's been a bit less than that. Let's say 45. And I already feel like like I streamed the whole run. And this wasn't even as rough as, it, as uh, yesterday. Oof, let me rest a bit and bask in uh, the glory of winning this Tengu. I have no idea how I achieved this. It was a journey full of pain and suffering. Um, yeah, I guess there was joy for this Tengu, but the joy was sparse. Uh, you know what, the, what was the best moment for this character? It was finding this item. This item is the item that got me the win. If I had not gotten this item, which I bought in a shop in D4, I don't think that I would have won. Um, this item is like four rings combined. Like, actually like four rings combined. I needed the mana, I needed the poison resistance, I needed the willpower, and I needed the fire resistance. Uh, and we sacrificed the strength. I would have used the strength, like it would have been good, because I did have force lance and I wanted to melee some things, uh, especially in the early game. But the sacrifices that I made, uh, or the sacrifice that I made for this ring is uh, were, were completely worth it, uh, was completely worth it. Mm, this ring made it so that I could get away with sacrificing a hand. Because when I did it, originally I didn't even keep in mind that I would be losing a ring slot. And uh, in my opinion, that's the worst thing about sacrificing a hand. Who cares about the shield? The ring slot is the bad thing. Ah, but thanks to this ring, it was not that bad. I'm going to inscribe it with something, in fact, because I think this ring deserves it. Yeah, between that ring and the amulet of regen that I was using, if you see, if you notice, when it comes to resistances, I have the amulet and the ring and the staff. Uh, the quicksilver scales are also contributing a pipa willpower, which is pretty good and a good amount of armor class, um, all things considered. So yeah, but the hat and the cloak weren't particularly special. I like the gloves. The gloves were important because of the strength made it so that I could wear Quicksilver Scales and still kind of be able to cast. Um, okay, let's drink a couple of potions of mutation. Maybe I should have done uh, that earlier. Okay. MCC goes down to 2%, Chain Lightning goes down to 88%. Um, I could have maybe gotten Chain Lightning Castable if I had more time, but I, the thing is that I just didn't get it early enough, and I decided to dedicate a lot of my experience towards other things. 
Uh, not to mention that I dumped 18 experience, 18 levels into Ice Magic, you know. Um, just because that's the only thing I have. Eh. It's just how it is. Let's see. Um, more mutation. Let's see if we can get robust. Fire resistance. Fire resistance doesn't really do a lot. Mm. The 17 dexterity gives me a bit more motivation than what I had before. But let's see, more mutation. Pretty funny. I've drank so many, um, so many potions of mutation, and I still haven't gotten robust even once. I got frail before getting robust. I also got regen, but nope. I'm glad that I don't have to deal with the consequences of doing this. Okay, I would have liked this. This is actually really, really good for dexterity, for intelligence. Uh, strangely shaped body is kind of bad, but the intelligence is kind of a big deal. Yeah, it compensates for for losing wild magic. Ah, anyway, let's just call it now. Oh, that was painful. It has been almost a year since I beat a Tengu. Um, until now, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know how else to call that other than beating uh, a Tengu. Oof. We are free. And we are ready to do something else. Oh man, painful, painful. Let's do it again. Um, I don't think that I have much left in the tank, so hopefully it's an easy character. If it's not an easy character, this is going to be really painful. Oh, no, not like this. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if you saw it, but it was a Sprig on Artificer. Oh, man, why? 